So we've seen several performance numbers of the flagship AMD Ryzen 9 3950X CPU floating about on the internet, but now it's time to take a look at the second best Ryzen 3000 series chip, the 12 core Ryzen 9 3900X. The AMD Ryzen 9 3950X is definitely the highlight of the Ryzen 3000 series CPU lineup since the CPU is the flagship variant, but it won't launch until September. But what would launch after next week is the Ryzen 9 3900X, which will be the first 12 core processor for mainstream platforms. And that too is a beast in terms of performance and efficiency. The AMD Ryzen 9 3900X is a 12 core and 24 thread part featuring the 7 nanometer Zen 2 core architecture. The chip features a base clock of 3.8 GHz and a boost clock of 4.6 GHz. There's 70 MB of L3 cache and 40 PCIe Gen 4 lanes. Of course, that's a mixture of the CPU and the chipset, while featuring a TDP of 105 watts. Now, that is derived from the base frequency, of course, but still very, very impressive. That particular CPU, along with many others, is going to hit retail on July 7th for $499, although the other ones will be much cheaper. So down to $199 for a 6-core 12-thread, so yeah, pretty good, right? So AMD's competitor Intel doesn't have a mainstream chip that features 12 cores, but they do have an HEDT chip that does. The Intel Core i9-9920X is a 12-core and 24-thread part with a TDP of 165 watts. That chip features a base clock of 3.5 GHz and a boost clock of 4.4 GHz. It also retails for $1,200 in the US, and since it's featured on the HEDT X299 platform, the cost of building a PC around that chip is also much higher compared to the AMD's X570 platform. Maybe. It's definitely more expensive than X470. The latest performance figures for the AMD Ryzen 9 3900X are reported by none other than Tom Apisak himself, who has found an entry in the processor in Geekbench 4 database, because I know how much you guys love playing Geekbench. This chip is listed to be running on an X570 Aorus Master motherboard and has the exact same specs listed aside from the boost clock, which can be reporting error due to the Geekbench database. The chip's running at a stock clock, posted the score of 5,905 points in single core and 44,849 points in multi-core performance test. For comparison, an Intel Core i9-9900K processor scores around 6,100 points in a single core and 31,000 points in the multi-core performance test. The Core i9-9980XE scores around 5,300 points in the single core and around 42,000 points in the multi-core performance test. Even the 16-core Ryzen Threadripper 2950X scores around 4,800 points in single core and around 38,000 points in multi-core performance test. Sure, Intel's Core i9-9900K has the lead in single core, but that's just a very minor difference, and the 9900K is also clocked at 5 GHz out of the box compared to the 4.6 GHz frequency of the Ryzen 9 3900X. In the end, it's just simply unbelievable that a mainstream chip from AMD not only competes with Intel's fastest mainstream chip in single core performance, but also beat out their flagship HED2 parts that cost north of $1,500 at a fraction of the cost. So at this point, we definitely want to ask you guys, what are you looking forward to most? Six cores, much higher clock rates than what we've seen in the past. Eight cores, same story, better IPC like the six cores but faster clocks all around? Or do you think you should go straight for the 12 or 16 cores and skip what we've already had access to, except for the, well, frequency speed? Love to hear your thoughts down in the comment section below. This has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next one.